One of the biggest requests on the channel is how to install mod packs for Pojav Launcher. Yeah, Pojav Launcher that has mod packs inside of it. How do you navigate to this? Well, first you click on the profile icon, click on create new profile, scroll all the way down and click on create mod pack profile. And then a list of mod packs from both Mod Rinth and CurseForge will load up here. Now, not all mod packs show up here. And another thing, not all mod packs work for every single device, even if you have a powerful Android phone. The reason I'm here today is to basically educate you as to why my thumbnail and my title said to stop downloading mod packs, because a lot of you that try to download these just think they're gonna work right out of the box. They're not. There's menti, menti, menti reasons. Not many, menti, menti. Yeah, I, I said menti, just like that. Many reasons why these mod packs are probably not working for you. So today I'm gonna to kind of explain as to why they won't work with reason number one. All these mod packs were made for a PC. 99% of them at least were made for a PC. So what I have done before I even get into this video is I downloaded the fabulously optimized OptiFabric Zombie Invade 100 Simply, Simply Optimized and Cobblemon Official Mod Pack. The reason why I did that, well, that's because I'm using the Mobile Glues Renderer, by the way. If you don't know how to install that, basically go and watch my very first video in the playlist so you can learn how to install it properly, is I'm gonna click on play on this fabulously optimized fabric loader. Basically, this is just a version of my mod pack with sodium. And I'm going to press play on my Windows PC handheld on fabulously optimized and see which one actually loads. Now, when your device crashes, sometimes you get a black screen or sometimes you get an actual error message on the screen that tells you why it's not working. This might just crash as it did right there, but my PC handheld, it shouldn't crash. You know why? Because again, this was made for a PC. Now let's wait for it to load and there we go. It's loading perfectly fine. Yeah, it works, okay? So, fabulously optimized, works right out of the bat. And yeah, the controller doesn't work because you need to actually set up the controller for Controlify to actually work. So I'll wait for it to download all the stuff, click ready, and then you'll be able to use your built-in controller if you have a PC handheld like me. So, the reason why I'm telling you that is because I know why fabulously optimized doesn't work. And the reason why is because it has sodium built inside. Now, I did a video about how to get sodium working for Pojav Launcher, the latest version at least. And the reason why I did that video is because somebody has created a mod called Podium that fixes this. So how do we go and get that? Well, first we have to go to Google Chrome, which is a very convoluted mess of a way to do this because it doesn't have a built-in mod loader. Go to Modrinth. Go to discover content, go to mods, type in podium. And I told you this in my sodium guide, download the version that we're going to be downloading it for. And I downloaded fabulously optimized for 1.2, 1.5. And now navigate back to Pojav launcher, go inside your open game directory, click on the three lines, go to Poco X7 pro or whatever your device name is. Obviously mine is Poco X7 pro. Click the three dots, sort by modified newest first, grab podium, three dots, copy two, go to the three lines, go to Pojav Launcher, go all the way down to custom instances, go to fabulously optimize, and paste that mod in there. Now, drum roll for everybody here, let's press play and see if it loads, because I know it already does, and I already tested this. Oh, looky, looky, we got a hooky, and fabulously optimized is loading just like it's supposed to, and that's because it has sodium inside. Now, I haven't tested out all these other mod packs except for Cobblemon um, and OptiFabric. Zombie Invade 100 Days, I don't know what mods it has inside of it that won't allow us to use it. I think there's a couple mods in here that kind of uh, don't work. And there is a list. I will put a description of where that list is in the description of the video, that is the website because Pojav Launcher's team and other people have basically given us certain list of mods and stuff that don't work. So I'm not sure exactly what all mods don't work with this. I'm gonna keep going through here and seeing if there's certain, there's Embedium right there. 
Um, keep looking. Now, this is for 1.20.1. I downloaded this version just because I thought maybe this would be good. Uh, let's keep looking. Yeah, I don't really see any mods that might crash this. I don't know every single mod that doesn't work with uh, Pojav Launcher. However, that's the big thing too. Is that I know the world map has issues sometimes, so I'm going to delete that one. Um, but that's the thing. We don't have a full set of mod packs for Pojav Launcher or list of full mods that don't exactly work properly on multiple devices. So this is for 1.20.1. I don't know if I need to put a JVM argument in there. There's no JVM arguments in here right now. Um, I'm going to be using just the latest mobile glues and all that and see if this actually runs. I'm going to do the same thing on my PC handheld, okay? Again, never ran this before on either of these devices. I never tested this Zombies Invade 100 days, so maybe it will work, maybe it won't, I don't know. But the thing is, a lot of mod packs, they need you to m do different things. And where does it get to the point where it's kind of a nuisance to have to do this? Like RL Craft, you have to remove a couple mods inside of Pojav Launcher to make it work. You also have to use a certain renderer to make it work. And that's the thing about these mod packs too, is understanding that Pojav Launcher is using a renderer system that is allowing us to play Java Minecraft on our phones and our Android devices. Now, this isn't a video of telling you what to do and what not to do. This is a video to kind of give you some insight about why mod packs aren't working for you and why certain mod packs work for some people on YouTube. And that's because some people aren't telling you that, hey, I removed five different mods to make this work, or I did 50 different things to make this work. I get a little bit fed up when a mod pack is just not gonna work for me because I already know that it'll work on my PC handheld. And I'm like, well, I'm just gonna go play it on there instead. Yeah, I love, you know, playing Minecraft Java Edition on my Android phone, but there are certain mod packs that just don't work. I don't know if this mod pack is broken. I don't know what's going on with it. If it's still just loading in the background, I, 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 I don't know. I, I've never used this mod pack. Not sure what's going on here. Maybe it's just not working on here either. <laughs> so I don't know what to, else to say other than that you need to understand that not all mod packs are going to work for you. And this one is still taking forever to load. Maybe it's because I need to use more RAM. Maybe maybe there's just so much going on in the background. Uh, let's Let's minimize the window. Let's maximize the window. And let's look at our log, see if it's still loading stuff. It is still loading stuff. And you could, you know, keep an eye on your log output over here as well and see what it's loading over here and see if it's actually going to start loading stuff as well. And that's the big thing too, is that your device also is very important when it comes to mod packs. When you start loading mod packs, you're loading a whole bunch of data in the back end and you need a lot of RAM. Well, you need at least a decent amount of RAM for a lot of these mod packs to actually load because they have a whole bunch of mods. They're using your RAM at this given time to be able to basically load this. And that's what that RAM allocation is all about too, is basically giving your, your loader itself or launcher itself more RAM to utilize so that it can actually boost the performance of how fast these mod packs are actually loading and everything like that there it is right there loading on there and i don't know if it's going to actually even load on this i have never tried this oh here it goes maybe it does load so maybe we're lucky maybe it's going to load on here it's in chinese so i don't know what this mod pack's all about but yeah it looks like it's in chinese and i have no idea i'm pretty sure that's the play button create new world yeah no i don't know i don't know Maybe you guys want to tell me what this says in English. <laughs> um, let's create. I'm just going to guess what the buttons are based off of how I've played Minecraft in the past. But again, hey, we got lucky. It's loading on here. Now, can we actually play it? Oh, we're missing the Minecraft logo at the top. Let's, let's create a world and see if it actually loads into the world and everything. And crash. Yeah, see? No, it doesn't even want to do anything. So that's where I would give up. Not saying you need to give up. You can Google it. You can look all over the place. You can jump into the Discord, obviously, and get some help from there. Maybe some people know, hey, you need to remove all of these different mods. But where does it get to a point where it's pointless to even try if you have to remove 
five to ten different mods that are part of that mod pack that make that mod pack you know what i mean so again if you made it this far comment on the video that you love apples and you'll gain an entry to receiving a version of minecraft java edition if you already don't own a copy of minecraft java edition yeah i'm gonna start sneaking things like that in there because if you say i love apples i will create just a giveaway for this video only for java minecraft if you didn't say anything or you didn't say i love apples and you didn't make it this far then you're sol if you don't know what sol means you're probably too young to understand what that means in 2025 google it don't get me in trouble because you looked it up. Bye-bye!